I've been looking for the best workout routine for months, but nothing seems to stick. This week I went swimming every day at 6 a.m. and this happened to my body and my mind. I was shocked. So I currently weigh 152 pounds and my body fat percentage is 22.1%. Like a month ago, my body fat percentage was 24%. So your girl has been lifting. Y'all, I'm being so serious when I say that I have not swam in a year. There is something so unique about this challenge. I've woken up at 5 a.m. before, worked out at 5 a.m. before, but swimming is this full immersion into water that tells your body who you're going to show up as each day. Swimming is inconvenient. It's super important that we keep pushing the water line in our lives and experimenting with new things. Life is like math. You can't expect different outputs if your inputs remain the same. Now I gotta go to school. Okay, swimming is great, but this is what it does to your hair, guys. I forgot to bring a comb to the pool. And that was the worst decision ever. I can't show up to school like this, Um, but it was a really good experience to go out swimming. I would say my endurance is definitely not there. I'm so tired. Today I'm gonna be wearing a swim cap while I'm swimming though. So I'm gonna see if it dries my hair out less. This is my old swim cap from when I used to do swim. And I'm on my period. I just got my period yesterday. So, yay! I am so happy because I was finally able to swim a mile in an hour today, but my endurance is literally dead. And swimming has just been making my life harder. My hair's moisture gets stripped out by the chlorine and my skin is dry. Is this really something I can stick to as a long-term routine? Keep watching, we'll see. We're at Chipotle. When I typically work out in the traditional gym, I tend to escape my thoughts through self-help podcasts. It's been an escape from my own mind. When are we just silent off our phone? Do I even like myself when I'm just alone with my thoughts? To you watching, shut out the outside noises. Sit by yourself. See if you even like the person you've been left alone with. I impulsively decided to go take a road trip to a church with some friends and got home at 2 a.m. We were literally at IHOP at 1 a.m. And I went to the pool the next day. Can you be quiet for a second, Dad? Quick little interruption. I have to give you guys a Gymshark haul. Gymshark is having a sale up to 50% off on selected lines. If you don't already know about Gymshark, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> They're one of the most popular fitness brands, and I love them so much. I swear, every time I go to the gym and I wear their clothes, girls and guys come up to me and ask me, where do you get your fit? I'm going to be showing you guys all the pieces that I got and picked out. And just click the link in my description to check out their sale items. This is Gymshark's Adapt Camo Seamless line. Last summer, I saw this all over Instagram, and I wanted it so bad. And the leggings are so comfortable guys. I actually wore these to school. This top is the Adapt Seamless Crop Top. These are the Flex Cycling Shorts. I have never worn cycling shorts before. So these are their Vital Seamless Leggings in a light gray. The Vital Seamless line has to be my favorite. These are both part of that line. These are definitely super soft. This next outfit is super chill and comfortable. I'd honestly wear this to a yoga class. I wear it to school. These are the Pippa Training Joggers in Pistachio Green. And this is the Essential Tea in White. The black one looks super sleek. I honestly did didn't think I'd like the ombre, but once I wore it to the gym, like it's a vibe, guys. Like if you wear ombre on ombre, it just looks good. I've also got it in a top, and I've also got the adapt ombre line in shorts. Like what I love about Gymshark specifically is that when you go to the gym, you just look like a boss. I'll go to the gym and people will ask me like where my clothes are from, and I'll just tell them Gymshark is having a sale. Go check it out. This is the Vital Seamless line in their smoky marl color. This is the Adapt Marl Seamless bra in black. The last item on be showing you guys is actually a swimsuit. This is their open back swimsuit in this cute coral color. It's like a dusty pink. This is gonna be super great for swimming. It just has that open back. And that's it for my haul, y'all. I got a total of two and a half hours of sleep, guys. I went to church last night. It ran really late. I really hope I don't fall asleep in the pool. Honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a really good swim workout. I'm just gonna take a nap and then get on with my day because I'm so tired. I just look so cute every time I wear a hair cap. The issue with pursuing a rigorous routine in the morning is that it requires either disciplined decisions the night before or sheer will to still make the trip after two hours of sleep. Filming this video definitely kept me accountable. As I've strengthened my early morning routines, it's made me so strict about bedtime because I know my wake up time is not adjustable. <gasps> I want to go back to sleep so badly, guys. I set my alarm for 5, 10 a.m. And then I went back to sleep and reset it to 5, 30 a.m. Now there's no 
know going back to sleep. I just have to face it. Gen Z, where are you at the gym? I never see teenagers at the gym in the morning. At the pool, everyone is at least 40 years old. We need some more representation. I swear the best thing I've been able to do for myself this school year is to have a life before school. Just because school is at 8.30 doesn't mean I wake up at 7.30. School runs around my schedule. I don't fit my schedule for school and you shouldn't either. You have so many other parts of your life to pursue before and after school. Y'all, it was so hard to wake up this morning ever since I got that night of like two hours of sleep it's just been compounding that tiredness i need to go in the heated pool today because if i don't i going into the cold pool takes so much will guys yay guys the warm pool is open i needed this it's seriously so much warmer does swimming make you gain weight swimming makes me hungry like ravenously after a swim workout i want to eat three meals compared to a land workout where i burn the same number of calories when i did the swim team i would get this incredible swim workout in and then eat twice the amount i usually eat this just caused me to increasingly gain weight which was counterproductive is this a routine i want to stick with do i just learn how to control my hunger so let's talk about how this week went would i go swimming every single day at 6 a.m. as an actual routine. Let's focus on the pros, okay? One, swimming made me proud every single morning. Every single morning, I was hesitant if I'd actually make it to the pool. First, I have to wake up. Two, I had to get changed. Three, I had to jump into that pool. There was a lot of resistance in activating my actual swim routine. So every time I was doing my freestyle, I was like, dang, like I'm here. I made it. Honestly, thank for your morning routine. You should have one hard thing each morning that really just makes you feel like this is who I'm showing up as. This is my identity. I was able to self-reflect. When I do traditional workouts like weightlifting at the gym, I listen to a ton of podcasts podcast and a lot of music. It gave me a chance to interact with elders. So I gave an elderly man my swim lane and it made me feel so good, guys. It made me feel so fulfilled. Let's talk about the cons. I missed lifting weights. So my main fitness goal recently has been to build muscle, work on strength training, and I feel like swimming is kind of counterproductive to that. So let's say you burn 300 calories from swimming. Well, you're not really going to burn calories after that period, but if you weight lift, you burn 300 calories, you burn some more calories throughout the day, and you're also building more muscle, which is going to allow your metabolism to be quicker. So before this, I weighed 152 pounds and my body fat percentage was 22.1%. After seven days of the challenge, I weighed 148.4, so I lost about four pounds, but my body fat percentage went up to 27.1%. I had 66 pounds of muscle and then I went down to 60 pounds of muscle, guys. This was just really concerning to me. If you start making swimming a huge part of your lifestyle and you start losing weight, I'm super happy for you, but make sure it's the right type of weight that you want to be losing. Two, swimming is counterproductive to beauty. I feel like this is such a superficial point, but I really do have to talk about the it. The chlorine water can really dry out your hair. Your skin it gets super dry, and especially with colored hair, like chlorine will just pull the color out. It's just crazy that a lot of the things that we do as women literally just make doing things harder. Number three, it puts your decisions in bondage at the nighttime. So for example, if I wanted to hang out with someone at 8 p.m., I would not do it because I knew I was swimming really early in the morning. But swimming made me like super hungry which is like really counterproductive to my fitness journey. If you're looking for the perfect routine, this is what I'd recommend. Working out at the gym four to five times per week and swimming one to two times per week. Honestly, swimming every day isn't really the vibe for Don't me. Don't forget to watch my video where I worked out at 5 a.m. every single and week. And I'll see you guys on that video.